Lisa never made decisions on her own. At first, her parents decided that she would study music, and then they made her marry a wealthy businessman, Peter. And although the girl did not love him, she always obeyed her parents. At first, everything went well, but then Peter realized that his wife had a very soft character and began to pass all his mistakes and failures onto her. Lisa was having a very hard time, so when she became pregnant, she had hoped that her husband would change. It didn't happen, but it only got worse. Peter didn't take care of their daughter Annie at all. The situation was gradually worsening. Over the course of time, Peter had turned into a real tyrant. Besides, Lisa had suspicions that he had begun to cheat on her. From time to time, the girl thought about leaving her husband. She could not return to her parents, because they sincerely believed that her place was now next to Peter. But everything was decided one evening, when Peter himself kicked Lisa and Annie out of the house. He said that he was tired of them and had another woman. When Lisa and Annie were walking down the street, with tears in their eyes, an elderly woman stopped them. Excuse me, why are you crying? Has something happened? She asked. Come to my place, we'll have a cup of tea. Sitting in the cozy kitchen, Lisa told her story to Emily Clarkson. Having learned about the girl's situation, the old woman invited them to live in their house. Lisa agreed and hugged Emily. They had started to live happily with the kind woman. Soon Lisa found a job. She began playing the violin in an orchestra. Once, when Lisa and Annie were walking in the park, the girl lost her favorite doll. When they were looking for the toy, an elegantly dressed man approached them. Is there anything I can help you with? He asked politely. When he found out what had happened, he immediately joined the search. And when it got dark, he offered to take the girls home. On the way, he told that his name was Michael Richardson, and he was very fond of playing the violin. Lisa really liked him. Since they hadn't found the doll, the next day the whole company decided to continue the search. When Lisa and Annie met Michael again in the park, the man handed the girl an envelope. The letter was written on behalf of the doll, who announced that she had gone on a journey. Annie immediately calmed down and began to smile. Since then, she had been receiving letters from the doll every day. Besides, Michael began to teach little Annie to play the violin. Lisa did not even notice how she had fallen in love with the man. Once, when she and her daughter were visiting him, she plucked up her courage and confessed her love to Michael. The man's face changed. You cannot love me. There is one reason for this, he said to the girl. He told Lisa his story. The fact was that he had an inoperable brain tumor, so his chances of survival were zero. When you and Annie came into my life, it filled with meaning. And before I die, I want to give Annie one present. I want to bequeath all my property to her, the man said. Then he called the girl who was playing in the garden and gave her exactly the same doll as she had before. Please be happy, both of you. I want to rejoice when I will be looking at you from heaven, Michael said with tears in his eyes. The next day, he died.